Ho, ho, ho. Hello, boys and girls. How are you? Yeah. Marmar, I see you're here too. Yes, Santa. Okay. Uh, oh, boy. It's been a long trip, I tell you. Yes, sir. Welcome to all the little ones that are here with me, ready to read their special letters, full of wishes and dreams. Well, most of you might know me as Santa Claus here in America, but I am called by many other names in countries from all over the world. Some call me Chris Kringle, and others call me Father Christmas. And I've been called Jack Frost and even Chimney Jack. But St. Nicholas is what they call me in sweet little country called Ireland. You see, Ireland is a place with a lot of history and magic. I just arrived here after visiting all the little boys and girls of Ireland who have Christmas wishes and sent me letters too. Ireland celebrates Christmas in a very special way, Kazunai, with lots of wonderful traditions that we are going to learn about later on. But first, we have some boys and girls here that want me to read their letters, and they're excited to do that. So who's going to be first? Oh, you can read your own? Well, come on over yes, here. Stand by me and read it. Stand right here, over here so that we get you good on camera. Okay. Dear Santa, I hope you are doing well at the North Pole, and I hope the elves are doing great too. I was really good this year, so I hope I'm on your good list. Here are some of my wishes for Christmas. I would really like a secret journal. I would also like a poker stick. I was wishing for Catacle Curl Baby Bunnies if it's not too much trouble. Merry Christmas and thank you. Sincerely, Mariella. Well, that was a nice letter. Do you nice think you job. can do the pogo stick? Have you tried one before? No? And that, that's where you bounce up and down on it, huh? Yeah, that sounds like a lot of fun, but well, I don't know. Have to be safe with it, won't you? Huh? Yeah, okay. And are you, what are you going to do special for Christmas? Are you going to visit Grandpa and Grandma or anything? I think so. You think so? That's always fun at Christmas time, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that was a very nice letter, and I'm going to take your letter. And I'm going to put it in the mailbox so we yes. know the elves get it at the North Pole, okay? Uh, okay. Very nice letter there. Who's next? Come on over, stand right here by old Santa, right beside Mar Mar there. Can you read this one or should I? I got to. You can't read yet? Neither can I. <laughs> oh, I'm teasing you. And what's your name? James, I hope you are staying warm at the North Pole this winter. Well, we usually have a good fire in the fireplace and try to stay warm there. Yeah, I'm on the good list, and there's a question mark. I think you are on the good list, yeah? And if I am, for Christmas, I would really like Legos. Uh, uh, Chima? Chima. Chima. Oh, I got to figure out what that one is. Batman and Ninjago. Ninja. Go. Ninja. How do you say that one? Ninja Go. See, these guys know all these things and can pronounce them right. My favorite thing to do is build Legos. What do you build with Legos? Huh? Do you build house, houses and castles? Yeah. yeah, bridges, garages. No, you never build a garage? No. Do you build Lego cars? Then you better build a garage to put it in. Huh? Okay, I'm just teasing with you, James. And if I bring these presents to your house, where should I put them? By my Christmas tree. By the Christmas tree. Not in the, not in the garage. <laughs> not under the bed. Huh? Not in the kitchen. Okay, but by the Christmas tree, huh? Okay, well, that's about all we can make out of that letter there. So we'll send you back, and I'll put the letter in the mailbox. Okay. We're going to... Well, yeah, we'll read one more. How's about that? And then if we can, he's coming up here real slow and real careful. What's your name? Jacob. 
Nico, okay, so dear Santa, can I please have a remote control helicopter? That's a helicopter, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, video. Isn't that a video game? <laughs> toy cash register, toy dinosaur. Is that a T Rex? Yeah. A big one? And Legos. What do you like to build with Legos? Uh, huh? Oh, are you on the same letter? Huh? Are you on this letter too? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. But. But what? I like to build with Legos a garage. Yeah? Uh, Stand right here. Uh, Okay, right in front of my feet. Turn around so they can see it. Yeah? And what? And another toy. Oh, okay. All right, and who, what's your name? Julian? Yeah. Oh, I see you. I really like video games. In a video game, huh? Okay, why don't you guys have a seat there? And thank you for that nice letter. I guess we shared that one letter between the two of them. I bet you they're double trouble. Do you think they're twins? Yes, I think they're I twins. think they look that way. Yes. Now it's time to learn about one of the traditions celebrated in Ireland, a very popular one that began there. Do you think you know what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's either Christmas cookies, Christmas trees, placing a candle in the window, or opening president. presidents, pres presents. Uh, not presidents. While you think about that, let's take a look at a little story about a man trying to get in touch with his Irish roots. Hello, everyone. You know, over the last couple of days, I've learned so much about how different countries celebrate the holiday season. It's truly amazing how many traditions there are around the world. Today, I have a story about another tradition that I love. I can't wait to share it with you. Let's take a look. Meet Warren. Warren is a man who respects tradition. He is also one quarter Irish. So this holiday season, Warren is going to be embracing his Irish heritage by placing the traditional candle in the window. See, on Christmas Eve, a candle is placed in a window as a sign that the house is a welcoming place. The candle burns throughout the night, and then, on Christmas morning, it is blown out by... Wait, Warren. Warren, War Warren, stop. Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Narrator. I didn't mean to be rude. Good morning and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Don't blow out the candle. Why not? The tradition in Ireland is that only a girl named Mary is allowed to blow out the candle. Oh, well it can't be too hard to find a Mary. Just pull up my phone here and... Oh. Does Marie count? I'm afraid not. Well, I don't know anybody named Mary. Who's going to blow out my candle? Oh no, this story is not turning out at all the way it should be. Let's fast forward a little bit and see how Warren gets out of this, shall we? Oh, maybe one of them is named Mary. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. Your singing is very lovely. I kind of have a problem, though. wonder if you can help me. What is it? Are you named Mary? Sorry, I'm Carrie. Is there any chance that possibly either two of you guys are named Mary. I'm Jerry. Sorry, I'm Larry. Okay. I'm never going to find a Mary. Uh-oh. Looks like the final pages are, are missing. One sec. And then a Mary appeared. I'm never going to find a Mary. My name is Mary. I understand you need a candle to be blown out. Thank you so much. I was starting to think that that candle would never get blown out. It was my pleasure. And then, with the deed done, she left. Merry Christmas. Well, 
I was weird. A Christmas miracle, perhaps? I don't know, maybe. I'm just glad that's over with. I'm gonna go celebrate and go to my parents' house and open some gifts. Sorry, Warren, but presents in Ireland are open on Boxing Day, not Christmas Day. You'll have to wait. What? I'm glad to see that everything worked out for Warren in the end. For those of you who don't know, Boxing Day is the day after Christmas, December 26th. Well, everyone, that's the end of that particular story. Thank you very much for joining me, and happy holidays. Well, wasn't that fun? Yes. Oh, placing a candle in the window is a tradition that comes from Ireland. You know, yes, let's sir, sing a Santa. song. Should we sing a song? Yes, we should, okay, Santa. Okay, do that. Would you guys like to sing Frosty the Snowman? Yes. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start it off. Frosty the Snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Frosty the Snowman is a fairy tale, they say. He was made of snow, but the children know how he came to life one day. There must have been some magic in that old silk hat we found. For when we placed it on his head, he began to dance around. Oh, Frosty the Snowman was alive as he could be. And the children know he could laugh and play just like you and me. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump look at Frosty go. Thumpity thump thump thumpity thump thump over the hills of snow. Frosty the snowman knew the sun was hot that day. So he said, let's run and have some fun now before I melt away. Down through the village, running here, and Frosty was running there. Around the square, saying, catch me, catch me if you can. He led them down the streets of the town, right into a traffic cop. And at that moment, he had paused cause Frosty had to stop. Oh, Frosty the snowman was a jolly happy soul with a corn cob pipe and a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Okay, nice Good job, job. good job. Now I think it's time for us to read some more letters. And remember that candle in the window. Who's going to be next, Marmar? Okay. <clears throat> well, what's your name? Joel. Joel, did you pick that name out? What do you mean? Now, did you pick that name out or did your mom pick the name? My mom. <laughs> mom and dad picked that name. Okay, Joel, it says, What I want for Christmas is Lego, and that was Chima, huh? Five, Eagle, Jet, oh boy. If you please can make my wishes true, I was a good boy this year, and oh, I did my homework. Oh, that's always important. Do you like school? Yeah, what's your favorite thing in school? Gym. Gym? Yeah, not math, not reading. I do like reading. Do you like those too? Yeah, and you're getting good grades? Yeah, that's always important. You know, I tell you, school is very important. Very important. Yeah, you learn to read and learn to do the math. That way you're all ready for life there. And what should I do with all these presents? Put them under the tree? Yeah. You usually have a big tree at home? Mm, kind of. Kind of? Okay, now do I bring the presents to your house or do you visit somewhere? Come to my house. To your house. I got to ask sometimes because boys and girls go, you know, to grandpa and grandma's house or something like that. Yes, so I always do. have to find out where they're going to be and where I should bring the toys there. 
Okay, thank you for that nice letter. I get two Christmases. Y yeah, you get two Christmases. Oh, wow, oh, that's Lord, great. That's great. Okay. That's well, go on trip. back and we'll get on here to the rest of the program. There are more Christmas traditions that begin in Ireland. Are we going to read another one? Huh? No. Okay. There are more traditions, <laughs> Christmas traditions that begin in Ireland. One of them is a decoration you might see hanging on a lot of doors during the holidays. How many of these, how many of you make crafts and have crafting time? Well, let's take a look at how to make a special Christmas decoration that we all love to see. Okay. Making a holly wreath is a festive part of Christmas crafting time. Not only is it fun, but once you hang it up, you get to enjoy your wreath throughout the entire holiday season. I'm going to show you just one way to incorporate it into your Christmas decorations. Let's get started. I got a wreath that was already made from the craft store. It's going to make it real simple. You're also going to need some crafting wire, some wire cutters, some special red ribbon. Also, you're going to need your holly. All right. Now we're ready to begin. First, I want to fluff up this wreath. Sometimes they get a little squished, so you want to fluff them up real nice, make it look as full as you can. So now we've fluffed that up and made some space also for our holly. I'm going to set this one aside, and I'm going to grab the holly. All right. So we need our wire cutters. You're going to want to cut the holly branch as long as you can so that we have a lot to work with. So I'm going to cut these and I'm going to set them aside. Now we're ready to begin connecting them to our wreath. I take in my first piece of holly and I just slide it in right through and I begin to wrap it. So you take your wire and you wrap it around the long piece and you secure it around the base. So continue to find the spots that you want to put the holly and wrap them in. It's looking very festive, don't you think? Let's put our ribbon on. So I'm going to take the ribbon and I'm going to make it a very long piece of ribbon because we have to wrap it around the whole thing. I want to leave the end so that I can make a big bow. So what I do is I start to wrap it and I leave the end long. I'm going to take the end that's still connected and I'm going to wrap that around the rest. The next thing and the last thing that I'll be doing is tying a bow just like you would your shoes. You want to keep the center nice and square. Now there's a trick to that. You wrap it around the center to give it a nice square look. You pull it around and through itself and it becomes a nice square knot in the center. Now you have a beautiful wreath looking very festive for Christmas. I hope that you had fun today. Have fun trying this at home. I'm Sarah Stangle and we here hope you have a Merry Christmas. It's so nice to see the wreath hanging on the wall. And we've got one here too, up there above the fireplace. Here to enjoy, looking forward to seeing all you guys make one at home. But be careful, you're using tools that can pinch your fingers. So have an adult help you out when you're doing these crafts and cutting the wire to make the wreath. And now I think it's time that we get back to reading some letters. 
And while we were learning how to make a wreath, Callie came up to see us, yeah? And how old are you, Callie? Four. You're four years old, okay. And she's got a short letter, said, I want for Christmas a princess doll. And I was a very good girl this year. Yeah, are you in preschool? Yeah, what were you doing in preschool? Yeah, you're learning to paint, and you read some stories, having all kinds of fun there in preschool. Yeah, well, that's good. Are you learning your ABCs already? Yeah, and your numbers? Yeah, are you learning to write your name? Yeah, so you're doing a lot of things in school, huh? Yeah, well, that's good. All right. And if I bring presents to your house, where should I put them? Under the Christmas tree, not in some funny place, huh? Okay. Well, thank you for that nice letter. And I think we got one. Well, I'm going to put that in the mailbox here. Yes. Marmar, we got another gentleman there, I yes, think, with a letter. Do. Let's bring him on over. Okay. Find out who he is. He's looking sharp today, I tell you. And what's your name? Warren. Warren? Okay. It says Warren the third. Are you the number three? Yeah, there was two other ones before you, huh? All right. And are you looking forward to having Christmas? Yeah? Yes. What do you usually do at your house for Christmas? Uh, decorate my tree. And, yeah. Um, um, when my presents come, um, play with them. Okay, and open up all the presents. Do you have a good dinner or something to eat? Yes. Yeah, what do you have good to eat? Do you have ham or turkey or something like that? Yes. Yeah? I'm looking for a good place to find Christmas dinner. So that's why I was asking. I thought maybe if you were having something real good, I'd stop by for dinner. Would you like that? Yeah? <laughs> okay, but we don't know what you're going to have, huh? No, not yet. Oh, he's got a letter here. He said, I would like a snowboard everyone else to have food to eat and a place to live and he's worried about other people in the world and that's, that's always good. nice <coughs> excuse me mm. traveling traveling in that cold sleigh i tell you i'm catching a little cold there i think i better find some cough drops and cough syrup and and mrs claus to take care of me a little bit there hot toddy a hot toddy there you go all right, and if I bring presents to your house, where should I put them? Under the tree. Under the tree. No funny places, huh? Not in the, on the kitchen? No. No, not behind the house? Mm -mm. No. Okay, are you going to leave anything special out for us? Cookies and milk. Some cookies and milk. What's your favorite cookie? Um, sugar. What's that? Sugar. Sugar cookies. Oh, mm. those are good ones. Do you put frosting on them too? Yes. Yeah? Do you make up uh, reindeer cookies and Santa Claus cookies? And yes. Yeah, you make all those, huh? I tell you what, Marmar, it looks like we're going to have some good treats on Christmas Eve, that's sure for sure. It does, Santa. Yeah. Well, we'll see what we can do there. I sure like these letters because it gives us good ideas on all the different things that we need to do at the North Pole to get ready. I tell you, that's always fun to, you know, make up all these presents, get them wrapped up and and do, and get everything ready for the boys and girls. It's gonna be a busy year. Gonna be a busy year. And then when we finally get home, we all get together and have a big Christmas feast, huh? That's the best part. Marmar always likes that the best. Yes, I do. <laughs> <laughs> he always likes that part the best. Yes. Well, okay. <clears throat> I think we got that one read. Okay. okay. All right. You know, it's been really good to see you all today. I have been off to some more places around the world to visit. Other boys and girls, tomorrow we'll be going from the wonderful land of Greece. Have you ever heard of that country, Greece? 
Okay. And I'm going to leave you today with an Irish blessing. May peace and plenty be the first to lift the latch on your door and happiness be guided to your home by the candle of Christmas. Yeah. Ho, ho, Merry Christmas to you all. All right. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. And I see voices rose up.